Hello, our friends, Evolutionary E-Arts, Hearts Home Family. Hello there, welcome back. If you hear heavy breathing in the background, don't worry, it's only Rama. They were out running and retrieving balls. He loves to retrieve balls. Yes, he's he's a working dog. He's a, he's a retriever of sorts, but he's also our big protector. He will go and fetch balls all, na- all day and all night, yeah. nonstop. Thanks for being subscribed to all three videos. We know you guys don't always get notifications. Check in on a regular basis. So we had a one-mile shelter-in-place order that was issued due to a hazardous, a hazardous. No, it's hazardous chemical spill. Maybe that's a new word. Hazardous. <laughs> that then you gotta know it's a it's a chemical spill that's hazardous. This was inside an industrial warehouse in Pennsylvania. It's been a lot in Pennsylvania. This was in Downington, PA. Residents and businesses in the area are to evacuate or shelter in place till further notice. They have given the all clear sign, but you know, this is just, how, what number is this? Yeah, you know, I don't know, are we in four digits? Right, and you know, I forgot to mention while you're so the night before last about the grapevine in uh, California being shut down both directions because of another hazardous spill. <laughs> <laughs> we coined the term. Yay. This looks hazardous. Yes, it does. I would say this looks extremely hazardous. What are we looking at? We're looking at the beautiful state of Hawaii. And as you see here, this is West Maui. Winds up to 60 miles an hour, pushing flames toward populated areas around Lahaina. You know, Maui is, is going up in flames at the moment. This is Front Street in downtown Lahaina. In West Maui, home to 12,000 people, Coast Guard responding to people who were forced to go into the oceans to escape the flames. People had to swim into the ocean to get away from the fires. Actually, this is a really serious. uh, I mean, we've seen so many wildfires springing up all over. It's been a hot summer for us, uh, but at the same time, it it was a relatively cool summer for many over in, say, like PA that we were talking about in other areas. The UK, I heard it hasn't been too brutal. But the wildfires springing up everywhere and all these calls about, you got to do something about this climate change. The global warming is roasting us alive. It's really, you know, it's getting so old, but they're going to continue to push it onward and upward as long as they want to and and here's here's the great reveal you know we used to think we had a voice at least they pretended that we had a voice well we can scream you know at the top of our lungs and they're just going to keep saying it's climate change that's what's that word gaslighting yes that's like looking you square in the face and lying to you with a smile on their face Oh, gosh, the politicians are good at that. So this is Edgar McGregor. He's a climate science, climate activist, 1400 days of Earth cleanup. Yes, the future is worth fighting for. Yes, uh, this planet has been toxified horribly. But at the same time, these fires are no coincidence. They're, They're no coincidence because what's next on the agenda? Well, just check off what the few and all these not so secret societies are talking about and it's all about yes cbdc tied into uh, you know a carbon-based system as we are carbon-based life forms it, it really does the more you realize that what we're battling here is something that is not organic it becomes really obvious because it seems to have contempt for the organic it, it does it has a hatred for it it has a hatred for the organic and again, this is Front Street on fire. Again, people jumping into the water to escape these flames. And thankfully, the Coast Guard's picking people up. Apocalyptic. People are overwhelming the hospitals with so many people coming in. Again, all these fires, too, lead to breathing issues. And a lot of these fires don't smell like wood. And, you know, again, that's part of the bigger picture, and bigger scenario. Meanwhile, over in Scandinavia, you have thousands that were evacuated, worse floodings in decades. As you can see, some of these uh, photos here 
If it's not burning up, then it's flooding away. Everything that we see that just seemed to intensify in 2017 has definitely gone to an all-new stage. And it feels like we are kind of coming to a climax and that we're going to be shifting uh, to a totally different reality. And here you see China after the floods they've had. Again, it doesn't matter what side, uh, whether it's BRICS or the NATO nations that, that people are going to be a uh, force to be under one side or the other. And, and, you know, for those nations that won't see fighting, you know, that's a blessing. But we're still all su uh, suffering from, quote unquote, the, the climate issues that are going on. Over a million people evacuate as tropical cyclone Kanun threatened South Korea after it's wrecked havoc in Okinawa. This one looked like it was going to be an issue, and yes, absolutely. And six people lost their lives in southern Japan and Taiwan. So South Korea is next. And what's next for the war gods? Uh, yeah, could be Niger. It absolutely could be Niger. French air forces violate Niger. Niger. you got to be careful not to say Nigerian because Nigeria is a different country. Uh, airspace in preparation for an invasion also reports that French troops have moved against Niger troops. More info coming. Yes, I'm sure. And, you know, I saw something yesterday uh, that I didn't keep, but then I wanted to check it today. And that was just reports that the airspace over Niger and Algeria is, is, is shut down. And when I look at ads back exchange, uh, I don't see a lot of traffic. Now, I don't know how much traffic is typically going over the Sahara. Probably not a heck of a lot. But it seems like these planes are obviously avoiding these areas. And you got to wonder if there was any more direct routes. How about everybody coming into South Africa? Um, you know, I, there's there, there are none. So rumors are airspace is closed because action's coming uh, to the forefront. And this tweet says, if the situation in Niger is not stabilized according to the standards of the West, there will be nothing for the Trans-Saharan gas pipeline. Now, this is where this was supposed to go through, Algeria, Niger, and Nigeria. And, yeah, absolutely, there is a battle well underway to control the resources of Africa. And, really, China's doing the best job with it. NATO, I, this is the first time I saw a NATO ad popping up in my feed. NATO stands ready to protect every inch of our territory. Allies agreed to scale up NATO battle groups in size if and when requir required. We are ready to fight. Yeah, it, it feels like they're declaring it. It feels like we're really close. It could happen at any point in time. So this was an interesting one. Uh, hmm. Did you know Greg Abbott is helping to build a city for 200,000 illegal aliens outside Houston? Yes, we talked about that. That has sc schools run by Chinese? Now, now that's something I hadn't heard of. A charter school which teaches Mandarin, Mandarin Chinese K through 12. I went inside this person is saying J. Michael Waller, Senior Atlas for Strategy Center for Security Policy, I went inside as ties to the CCP Ministry of Education and Confucius Institutes. Well, nothing wrong with Confucius, but the CCP is a different story. Yeah, it, it's it, again, everything is in place for after the war is all done. It's all in place for after. Yeah, it's, it's almost like they just have these. Uh, the only thing that's going to need to be done by the leaders is just sign here. You know, they're just putting everything in order and people are going to have to comply and and again it, it's just gaslighting at such a huge level you know i mean they're probably going to say what 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 do you mean you know a chinese run school run by the ccp what's wrong with that you know they're going to now they're going to probably take offense that somebody asked a question <laughs> yeah and again every group at some point in time in this world becomes the target of other groups and this is done most often, in my opinion, by direct manipulation that uses this to their advantage. 
Massachusetts has a state of emergency due to rapid and unabating increases in a number of families with children and pregnant people, many of them newly arriving migrants and refugees. The world is is doing this gigantic, you know, that we used to play in school. Everybody up off your chairs. Now shift, 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 stop, grab a chair. That's what they're doing. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It is. It is. And again, this leads to people not being rooted and it's just going to lead to more chaos. But that's the whole plan, because meanwhile, we have that bag of cocaine found at the White House belonging to somebody in the 46 family orbit, according to sources. Uh, You know, yeah, it, it belongs to a family member. You know, I mean, do you think it was this guy? Yeah, uh, yeah, don't mind my sweats. It's a hot summer night. (laughs) The allergies are kicking in again. Yeah, it's it's the (laughs) allergies. I got to go find a bathroom or a closet somewhere. Yeah, it's just the nasal spray, yeah. Nasal spray, yes. Meanwhile, over 20 million in payments from foreign sources to the 46 family and associates from Russia, Kazakhstan, and Ukraine during his VP hesitancy vp hesitancy yeah let's use that word yeah it's all coming out and again it's all related to monsters inc what are you talking about well it's all about anger it's all about fear it's all about anxiety it's all about loosh it's all about giving everybody the feeling of being totally uprooted unstable Uh, fearful about anything that's going to happen. It's a direct attack on everything that we hold to, everything that we've thought was, you know, right and good. And it's just all about creating chaos because, again, order out of chaos. It's right there, right there on our money, something we all look at probably every day. Well, at least we used to. Now it's gone to a card, you know, well on its way to like a, cashless system you could say yeah but you know i mean the monsters inc i mentioned this earlier and and it's so appropriate for for these times because it's like scaring people into compliance and the compliance is is yes you are going to react out of fear next thing they'll be doing is hooking humans up directly to battery systems to store the loosh if they haven't done that already and when we look to monsters inc and cindy could tell you more than i could uh, look at this. This is a container that you get the monsters that pop out of the closet and go, Aah! get you scared, right? And then they capture the loosh. Maximum screen capacity, 8,400, 6,400 SUV. Okay. Yeah. I mean, literally. Well, that's really not kind of too far from the reality. Uh, it's funny you know they have the little caution symbols on there and it says up there caution unrefined scream so you know and in so many cases they tell us the truth on so many levels it's up to us if we want to believe it and understand it and learn how to change our energy in such a way that we are not contributing to the monster machine yeah Absolutely. The monster machine. Just think about everything that we've been given. You know, these these are, um, yeah, as we know, yeah, 9-11. They're still going to say it was a C-O-N-S piracy theory. Look at Sesame Street. Cookie Monster eating the Twin Towers. 1979 Super Tramp album cover. Uh, it, it goes on and on. You know, Spider-Man 1991 looks like impacts. New York, $9, 9 dollars This was 1997. And Iron Man, 1994, you see, plane going. Is it that we're all psychic and we just know what's going to happen because there really is no time? Maybe a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's programming. It's telling us what's going to happen. And, you know, when you look in Bank of America, they have some interesting murals there. They have a burning bush. We were covering that the other day, speaking about how the burning bush is just like a gin would look like. Y- yeah, yeah, it's interesting. And then you have a pyramid, and in the background, you have this guy who's initiating into the Masons. This little guy, his feet are at a certain angle, just like tradition in the Masonic Temple. Checkerboard, just like the Masonic Temple. Is this a rapture? Are they getting lifted up by ETs? What's going on there? 
Um, again, it reminds you of the Denver airport, these frescoes. This is all at Bank of America corporate lobby. Is that a black hole sun? Uh-oh, don't you come. Black sun. Right? And, and there is something to that. But also, the what we've gotten, and then I found out after we have shared this with you guys, because Cindy was getting that the propulsion system of Nibiru is, is a black hole. That's why, also, it can't get too close to us. And it, it's still on the outside of Uranus and Neptune because it won't be allowed to get any closer. The black hole is how they move uh, their planet. And yeah, it, it can absolutely and has wrecked havoc in the past, but it won't be allowed to from uh, the higher authorities. But at the same time, yeah, you know, these times, the changing of the guard, everything changing, as you see the bankers and all discussing things, it, it's just fascinating to see all this again we've talked about 33rd degree masonry there there is 33rd ver 33 vertebrae in the human spine it, it's there's references to the kundalini because again they want to keep us in the dark but they are to know all the secrets because they work for the real control structure which again is not human and they don't want us to know like in the bible says to know the difference between good and evil and once we are awake we will know that but going back a little bit um on that other photo that we were looking at you know i look at that square and something screams at me you know jump room and i don't know if you guys have ever heard of those jump rooms but we really do not need <clears throat> certain technologies to get to mars i mean these technologies are in place looking at the pyramid and understanding and knowing that that's something that was placed on earth for several different reasons one of which has a lot to do with balancing and the other has a lot to do with healing and they're very meaningful the black sun well that's been around for a while or is it a black hole um there's just so much there it, it would take a long time to interpret all of that really and they make it look like it's just a simple picture no, it's not just a simple picture. Yeah, and and again, now they're comparing them to um, the Denver murals and saying how oh, that boy looks like this boy is dressed in traditional barbarian garb. He's got a hammer, and here you see peace, pause, music playing and everything. But, you know, over to the side, there was those murals of children dying, of that soldier in a gas mask in that outfit, um, that is the same one that that the uh, guides have given to Cindy. So we know something else is coming, and we can't really talk too openly about that here. Uh, we, we just republished a, a video that was talking nothing about but about the history of the guide stones that used to be over in the state of Georgia that are no more, and it was just the historical um, you know perspective on this pre plague upon the land and they took it down you know uh, they didn't give us a strike for it but they took it down for medical misinformation yeah what we're just saying uh, could it be that there's anything in place that uh wants to just like you know again go to the anunnaki stories and lil said there's too many humans there's just too many of them they drive me crazy we got to get rid of them there's just too many let's start over yeah uh, you know when you look to those stories you look to why humanity was created in the Quran and the Bible. It's to serve God, but it's not the creator of this universe. So again, black sun in front of the golden sun. And also, again, when we see eclipses, those are huge markers. Yeah. And we have a huge marker coming in October and then again in April. Yeah, I mean, this is a huge symbolism. I mean, looking at the, the dark, the eclipse, e eclipsing the sun, you know, it's just, yeah. We're in the period of this right now. So what's all the fire with a naked couple? Well, again, this, this I think, is representing many things, inclu including the natural kundalini and how that's being initiated in people. Again, kundalini can be re represented as a, a snake, as fire, uh, as many different things. The two serpents intertwine, but look at everything going on underneath. You see a guy in a gas mask, has a hazardous suit. You see chaos, war, strife. This is the period that we are in now. And Bob wires, nets, and soldiers on the street. 
Yeah, this is directly in front of us. So we, we need to be prepared for this time. And this is that, that vision that's exactly like what the guides keep showing uh, Cindy. It's pretty bad. Absolutely. So, you know, it's, it's all right there. Here you have a sleeping giant in the land. Well, the many of the giant giants, the real big giants, not the eight to 10 foot tall giants, but again, Roger over at Mud, Fuzzles, Mud Fossil has talked about this. And we've actually shared some things from the desert with you guys that we've seen, taken photos and videos of that we feel were related to enormous beings, like the size of mountains. Uh, and again, Tiamat is waking up because Earth was Tiamat and, and she is awakening, she is ascending. It's just interesting again to see all this. And there's a little EQ. What is that for? Earthquake? Earthquake? Sleeping mountain? Yeah, again, interesting. Uh, you know, you see the children here sleeping. So, you know, they feel very twisted, they feel very dark. There's, there's no way around it. It feels very dark, foreshadowing, foretelling, planting, perhaps. As you see this little guy, this is in China. He's trying to save himself. He's walking on his hind legs because he has no choice in the floods. Oh, could that cameraman just pick him up? I, I got to hope he did after filming him. I mean, look at the poor little guy. You know, again, we, we're, we will be judged by ourselves. And how we behave during the hardest of times, the most challenging of times. But for many people, this is why you're here. You're here to help each other and to point the way. And as this little guy is saying, hey, hey, over here, we're, we're going to go this way. He's a cutie. No, no, you don't want to fo follow that, that B-I-D-E-N guy. No, come with us. Get away from the Pope. Stand away from the Pope. <laughs> Definitely. As always, guys, much love. Stay prepared out there. God bless and namaste. Namaste.